Well, what is happening, everybody? I am the Inadequate Streamer here today, and I'm sorry that I've got my audio loud, so turn that down. Turn that white down so I don't hear myself and I uh, lose track of what I'm saying. Anyway, as you can see, this is massively different, as now it says, Taken War Heroic. Now, what's happened is recently the Rise of Iron DLC has kind of sort of preloaded under the Taken King, so you have access to the uh, Plague Lands over here. And you have this here, which if I try to get the Wise of Iron DLC, which I haven't yet got, I get told that I can't get it. Yes, I have Xbox, which sucks. And there's a space here for like a Wise of Iron strike, I guess. But that's pretty much all that's happened, to be honest. You know, like it's only changed like a couple of the texts in like the uh, Taken War, whatever. Access to the Plague Lands. And of course, the whole um gui has changed as well so of course now you got little you know got progress you got the wise of iron book oh, every all the layouts changed as well and that's pretty much and you get and how you know like you get ornaments basically as well so that's supposedly uh collectibles which if i go on to say the uh fabian strategy for instance which does not have it i apologize i think the middle multi tool has it you know, you can actually sort of preview how it looks if you have a certain, um, you know, like exotic ornament, I guess. So it changes the way the gun looks, basically, if you see that. So that's something that's been recently updated. Only some exotics, as you might have been able to tell from that little test there. Some exotics have access to uh, looking different, whereas others don't. And just to kind of give you a brief little description of the Nightfall, as you can see, you have four modifiers on here. Nightfall, you have five. So you see some of them are the same, but basically you have level 320 on 325, so I should be able to do this even though it's very hard. You have heavily shielded enemies appear in greater numbers. Any kind of void damage is increased. Minions of the Darkness won't take, you know, won't even flinch. Yeah, special weapon damage is favoured, and of course you don't get weapon drops. So, let's launch this. Supposing the Nightfall hasn't changed, I believe it's going to be the Valus to Aux Strike on Mars. I'm also testing capturing this in 72060. I did a test in the past, but this is going to be like a long-ass capture. Whether we wanted it or not. Yeah, this is the Valus to Aux Strike. Now, usually with stuff like this, it's a got like a taken variation to it. So I guarantee you, instead of like fighting a tank, we're going to be fighting like a uh, taken boss of some description. That's what I was able to uh, sort of get last time I did this. So I say like I beat the Nightfall numerous times. I've only beaten it like four times. This will be my fifth time if I actually do it. So. Um, I did the Sunless Cell Strike twice, I did the Scion Flayers once, and I did this strike once. Now, whether or not that's um, going to be any different, you know, like, I don't know if the modifiers and this were exactly the same as they were last time. And as you saw there, I used the three of coins, meaning in the next ultra I kill is going to be, uh, uh, is gonna, I'm going to have a chance to get an exotic engram. But the thing with exotic engrams is you don't know if you're going to get anything, um, you know, decent. Oh, it seems as if that guy's already like, oh no, he hasn't. It's because this ghost is already in the process of doing it. Come on, legionary. There we go, I got him. Also, it looks as if some of the things are different. And I'm getting greens for some reason as well. I should not be getting greens. Unless these are like 400 light or something, which would be something. No, level 30. I'm not I'm not supposed to be getting greens. I'm like level 40, 325. I have no use for greens. But anyway, let's keep pushing forward. As you might be able to tell, this is going to be exceptionally difficult to try and do. I think somebody else has even more balls than me trying to do this solo. Because he was doing like the same thing as me. So, you know, all I have to say is good luck to you and hopefully you do it. But um, as you might be able to tell, there's no respawning restricted zone activated yet. And as you can see, we have like elite cabal enemies. 
so as you see my gun is like doing no damage to him this is what you have to deal with basically in the nightfall is doing uh, pretty much close to no damage which is why you have to use like your um, other weapons now of course because specialist and void burn is on it's going to mean my um, sniper here my thousand yard stare is actually going to be somewhat better to use than say like my scout rifle or my uh, rocket launcher so thankfully I do have quite a lot of special weapon telemetries but that supposes I don't eat through all my ammo at once so I'm hoping that rocket I fired did some damage there but it probably did not and I would not be surprised if it did not there's the elite colossus look at that much damage man that's 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 what that's the kind of damage you can deal but of course you have to be very uh, lucky and of course your um, you don't get um, ammo drops for your currently equipped weapon so you do need to like switch it up sadly and as you see there I am taking a lot of damage and he dropped a blue you never know I could have got like a greens because um there's like lower level players or something like that that guy's got like a solar shield so my gun's not going to do much to penetrate that down anyway we need to sort of push through i'm going to be risky and be very very bad and see if i can actually sort of like bypass this area because you technically don't need to kill the enemies here it's just more or less for like experience but um you know, oh no, I just realised my uh, battery is running low on my laptop. So just give me like two seconds while you uh, stare at my uh, consumed ghost that I got from doing Challenge of the Elder soloed one time. While I just yap at you about meaningless uh, shit, I guess. And hopefully this does not, does not like glitch up the capture or anything like that. Because if this capture gets fucked, then I'm going to be really pissed off. There you go, laptop. There you go. I plugged you in. Now you can't complain at me. Okay, you can't complain. Anyway, sorry about that. But another thing I have to note about the Nightfall as well is that you will have to be very, very patient. You know, as I said, taken, as I said, there's usually some form of taken variation to what happens here. So, thank God, like, something like exposure's not on, otherwise you'd never get your shields back. Unless you use like the red death, but with the red death, however, you're not going to get like um. Ah, oh, damn! I forgot. I did not kill the blight, meaning they respawned. Oh come on! I should have killed him. What the hell? Stupid devoured Sensorian. Gonna have to walk it you up, blood. Okay, I got him. I walk it I walk it did him up. That does not make any sense. I'm sorry. So yeah, um, this is going to have like obviously a Taken variation to it now, meaning um, there's going to be Taken bosses here. So I guarantee you, for the last time I did this, it took me so long to do, mainly due to the fact that I was just like not wanting to die. Because if you die, you have to like restart everything. Oh Jesus, that did a lot of damage. I did not want that to happen. I can't take that much damage again. I must admit, and there's like hobgoblins right here, if I'm not careful I'm going to get my ass killed, which is why you have to kind of strafe around and move, and yet again I'm getting greens, you saw that, that's a green right there, I don't need greens again, come on, at least that's the, you know, at least that's the um, kindness of giving me some heavy ammo there for my uh, truth rocket launcher, which is a uh, a new exotic I got from a heavy weapon engram. Bearing in mind, I already have the truth like 7 million versions of. No, no, I'm joking. But I think the only um, exotic heavies I need to get is like, um, you know, the swords. Two of the three exotic swords. And what's this? I can plant a patrol beacon here to get myself a uh, good, you know, like a stationary turret if I wanted it. And I've got a green even though I don't need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fuck off back here. Bearing in mind I'm getting like done up the ass by absolutely nothing as far as I'm concerned. And of course you get tortured. Um, scions. They class as a taken champion so that's what you need to kill. Just keep that in mind if you're ever going to be doing this within the next 24 hours I guess. 
We have to be careful because if you allow them to duplicate, then, um, you know, they're, they're just going to continuously own your ass. And as oh, you might have, as I might have heard me say earlier, if you um, die, you have to, like, restart literally, like, everything over. So don't take chances. Take it from me, all right? I'm doing this so you don't have to. As you might hear some people say, you know, don't do this. This is like suicide. If you have people to play with, play with them to get this sort of stuff done. Don't do it solo because, trust me, you don't get anything decent for doing it. And if you see people get something decent for doing this, they're most likely um, associated with Bungie in some way. So they kind of promote this game by saying, oh yeah, we get good stuff for doing this. Trust me, I've done the Nightfall like four times in the past. You don't get anything decent. Believe me. Unless it's something like you have to have three people in your fight team and you have to beat it in like a certain time frame or do it without dying or any kind of just random nonsense basically. That's what I'm trying to uh, suggest is that you're going to have to do something ridiculous. And as you can see here we got like uh, Minotaurs. I'm going to super him up. Hopefully I can do this without getting my ass kills. I should be using my Void Sniper. Oh god he survived. What the hell? Come on. Oh, you piece of shit guardian. I told you to jump out the way and you jumped into a rock like a bastard because that's what you are. Jesus Christ. And I'm going to have to start that all over again. Because obviously this game does not know what a checkpoint is. And so it deliberately fucked you over. That is what you call scummy tactics game. You don't do that sort of shit, okay? Scummy tactics. And I'll try my best to survive as well. But you saw that. You just don't have any luck. And that's because you're supposed to use your Void Sniper here. But how are you supposed to when you have enemies that can like literally insta-kill you if they wanted to? I'm going to be risky and fire like a rocket down there and hope that does something. It done something. So yeah, if I stay quiet or I'm getting super salty, then you know that this is like pissing me off. You know, because most nine, nine times out of ten I don't mean a lot of the stuff I say concerning this game. But, you know, sometimes you let the salt talk for you. And that is why, you know, you hear people go like, Oh, this game's a piece of shit. Oh, and all that kind of rubbish. And as you see, that nearly killed me. So you really can't fuck around with this. Because, as, I was just, as you just saw there, you can literally, like, die just as easy as you can live. So that's really annoying in this game. But I guess they call it the Nightfall because it's meant to be really difficult. Like, you know what I mean? I don't I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyway, thank God I got my heavy ammo back. Same can't be said for the um, sniper ammo. If I have to use a uh, telemetry. Oh no, I got some here. Which is good. Somewhat good, sorry. I never asked to deploy the ghost. I asked to deploy the patrol beacon even though it's not going to help me out. I need to not run off the edge like a goddamn idiot because this guy sucks at life. Obviously, I'm going to die again because this guy ran off the fucking edge like a bastard because that's what he is. Oh, my God. That's like my new saying. If this guy dies, it's his fault, not mine. So, you know, he's the bastard here. He's the one that's dying and not me. So, all I can really say is just fuck this guy because he is a uh, useless idiot that can't survive and you i killed you you stupid centurion you can't survive i shot the rocket right at the uh blight when you were there that's void so if that hits you you're dead and i'm reloading when i can't reload in games i i make that wall up if you die if you reload you get killed and as you see there i almost got killed because i needed to reload you see, that's why I get so pissed off, is because you should not be reloading in a game like this. It's set in the damn future, not in the past. Reloading's a thing of the past, right? Trust me, you should not need to reload, period. I know two, those two shots were perfect. It's just because the game timed it so as soon as I fired it, um, you know, made the damn goblin, you know, protect the damn hobgoblin. And that annoys me as well. So here we are nearly 15 minutes in and I've barely made progress with this damn strike. Because of the enemies being a load of uh, shit against me. So 
So yeah, that's something you have to uh, prepare for as well. So if I was actually able to survive there, there probably would have been like Minotaurs you had to kill. Again, stick with your like your Void Sniper if you have one. I, I obviously have the Thousand Yard Stare and I would argue that it's a very good version of it. You know, because um, I'll try and fire it there, see if that does anything. Okay, I did something. Doubt it killed the Hobgoblin though. Piece of shit. There you go, you're dead. Nice. You're supposed to die, by the way. You're not supposed to live. No, there's going to be like a couple hobgoblins down there. Don't hit the rock. You hit the rock, you piece of shit. That's what you're supposed to do. Something like that. Enemies? I don't see any enemies. So, yeah. Don't waste your time with doing stuff that's not going to help you out. That turret thing, that's not going to help you out. You literally just run all the way to that back walk where they can't hurt you. That's the best thing I can really, like, suggest. Deploy ghost. And then run a assing away. And I heard a uh, notification on my computer. As I say, run a assing way in advance. Yeah, see, that's a good thing. If you get a precision kill as well, that classes as a... Um, you know, like an explosion, so you like the enemies around get dealt void damage as well, which kind of is good. If you can actually land the precision shots and hope that enemies are nearby to, uh, you know, be victim to your precision shots. But the thing with these scions is they keep multiplying. You can't kill all of them because they're bound to, like, split right when you're about to kill them because they're cheap-ass, you know, bastards like that. Unless you get lucky with, like, a good... Rocket there, which I killed one of the uh, champions there. See, split right when I was a kill him, right about to kill him. Because my scout rifle does no damage, he survived. Piece of shit game, man. That's what. That's the kind of thing you want to have happening. Okay. That right there that you saw. And thank God exposure's not on, otherwise I'd have been really pissed off at this. I would not have even attempted this. If uh, exposure was on. I just can't kill the enemies. Because they keep respawning game. Come on there has to be a limit to this. You know I think this is like broken. Like, they're not supposed to continuously respawn like that yet. The game makes it so they do. Oh come on. I thought it was safe for like one second. Okay. Wait for my shield to recharge. Don't do anything stupid. Take your time and then go. Because as you see now, they're going to respawn like the next batch of enemies that's going to try and kill your ass. You have to be prepared for that. Oh god, I forgot. There's um, hobgoblins do void. Void damage. Of course you don't want that. Of course you don't want that either. So you don't want them to respawn. Wait for your shit to recharge. Well, who was that anyway? Is that oh, that's a guy doing that there. Nice hits. Shame none of them were, you know, like the mages that we need to kill. B B H B H. I don't even know who I need to kill, by the way, because I can't see, you know, far enough back to see what the enemy is. And that's why you don't jump and shoot like that, because you just miss. Especially with a sniper, because that's not any good. So, as my time went up yet, as my time went out, I got an upgrade for this. Nice, javelin. The answer is, my time is 15 seconds away, so... Just do something like that. Hope to hit them. Got something. Again, you can't hit the enemies because your gun's that useless. Right, hold on, wait. I see a green. I see a couple greens. I 
don't even know where to look. I swear to God. Oh, Jesus. I'm heading back. Screw it. Heading back. Don't even know where to go. And that's going to miss, obviously. Oh, they hit something. Okay. See, patience is the essence here. But the only thing I, you know, the only problem I have is because you're just, you're going to be waiting for a really long time, believe me. Waiting for these goddamn, uh, you know, captains to lure out. Like that guy over there, for instance, that's, that's one you need to kill. So let's just uh, try and kill him. Hide. Wait until you hear explosions. Then go peek out again. Rinse and repeat. There's a guy. And I got him. And I got an upgrade for the truth. And I'm stuck on rocks. So, of course you have to be really seriously careful about what you're doing here. And I need to get some special ammo back. Of course I could just like waste some uh, scout rifle ammo if I can. Because, um... I don't think people realise in this game, if you actually like legitimately run out of ammo, the game's kind of lenient and it gives you like some ammo back. Just to say like, here you go, we know your shit. Just take, say, take this, you'll be okay. You know, it does that. Oh, and there's a hobgoblin up there, look. See, if I never, if I never look, that's the guy we need to kill right over there, look. Of course, my uh, special... Wait, no, I never used that, did I? I never used my special weapon telemetry. I just realised just then that I never used it. So if I can get a good view of that guy, I can get him so he can't get me first. Happy days. Where the hell is that guy? He, like, disappeared behind the uh, structure so I can't get to him. I hate to move out this position because you see, three out of four... That's not very uh, good if I die now, especially when I'm so close to progressing to the next section. You know, and if, especially when I'm messing up simple little jumps like that. Come on. Aiming at their heads in the game saying I'm not. Bogus. That's what I have to say to that. Right. Where is this major? There he is. No, that's not him. Got him. Right. Next guy, come on. People don't want to see the nightfall solo and I'm just like camping, waiting for a guy to come around the corner when he feels like it. Admittedly though, if I do mess this up, I'm going to be really pissed off, so. Piece of shit, he moved out the way. Back, 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 move back, kill the Axiom Dot before the Axiom Dot kills you. There he is. Ah, oh, no, he's buggered off. See that? So you can't take that risk. You can't. You just have to be very patient and hope that you can kill him before he kills you, because he will kill you if you're not careful. And again, as you saw, there is about to do the axiom dart, wasn't he? Told you he was. So I keep going. That's the only attack he knows how to do. Oh, that, that's that, I've got him. I've got him. Don't worry. Four out of four. There we go. Investigate the anomaly. I'll do that in a sec. You know, because now that's like the next checkpoint. If I get fucked over now, then this game is officially, you know, in, in the land of the inadequate stream, officially a uh, pile of shit. Because you can't kill me. Because there's, you know, that you can't do that shit, okay? Right, got some truth ammo back. That's good. Now we need to investigate the anomaly, which is down here somewhere. Don't tell me I have to go, like, right up to it. Oh no, run away! I'm taking enemies everywhere!
destroy the Taken Gate Lord. That's what we got to do now. And of course, we got this guy here. It's the Soul Progeny. We got to kill the Soul Progeny. As you might, um, if you played Year One Destiny, you should know that the Soul Progeny is the name of the uh, collective Vex that um, are like the final bosses you kill in Year One Destiny. So. Yep, that's the soul progeny for you. Now, I'm trying to destroy these blights because I don't know if the blights actually, like, spawn enemies. But they, I think they're just there to, like, piss people off more than anything. But the worst part about this soul progeny guy is the fact that he's, like, invisible most of the time. So, you barely have a... You can barely see where he is 90% of the time. And again, with the modifier one, which means they don't flinch... You barely get like a second to land a shot on him. So as you see, I'm trying my best to try and land a hit. I see I told you, they spawn enemies. See, I knew I'm white. That's that's the thing. And I'm get backing into a corner that I can't get out of. Piece of shit game. You can't kill me. I'll make up the woods and you don't. You know, you can't do that shit. So I guess now the only thing to do is really just like try and kill the enemies. But I have no ammo to kill the enemies because this game obviously loves doing that sort of thing to me. And I'm not going down there when that soul progeny guy is down there. When he can just like literally insta kill my ass if he wanted to. Let's try some angled shots from up here see if that does anything. Okay, waste some uh, hammer of soul, but at least now you see, trying to get some hits on it. And I think this guy actually classes as a uh, major, so if I do kill him, I could get an exotic drop off of him. But I doubt I will, and I'm going to dismantle these greens because I don't need them. And why is the game giving me greens? It's, n it's never gave me greens, it's only like right now. That it's actually just giving me like a ton of uh, greens when I don't need them. And I can use another synth. That's good. Meaning that's been like 10 minutes or something. So I don't know if the uh, time on the synths actually like increases, decreases, whatever. The more times you use it. But um, yeah. It's the case. I'm trying my best. Here. And some people might think my, be my best is not good enough. But bear in mind this is so load. You know, you're not supposed to do this solo BTW for people that don't realise. And again, of course, the Blight respawns. Bastard. At least it's not going to respawn now. The thing is, it's like I should be using the... the um... Oh, of course, that goblin right there, the piece of crap. Trying to protect the soul progeny from me, but they he knows that's not going to work. Is that his head? No, it's not. I can't land a single hit on them without them like moving all over the place. Plus, I'm gonna waste all my ammo, and not even land like one hit, one precision hit rather on the boss like that, which deals monstrous damage. That's what you want to do. Happy days, we killed him, and he dropped an exotic, and I despawn. Excellent. Now I can see what my exotic is. Now, as you all know, if people watch my previous Destiny videos, armor is nothing. So, that armor right there, to me, is just as good as getting legitimately nothing for doing that. So, um, yeah, that kind of annoys me. Bearing in mind, I only need, like, weapons. I only care about getting weapons and not, um, you know, armor and all that. But, you know, it's probably going to be, like, another try like Garrison, even though I already have one. You know, that, that, that's what this game does. So I'm just going to use another one. Or rather, waste another one. Knowing I'm not going to get another... Um, get another exotic drop from this Valus to Arak guy. So, I'm not going to even think about... Flawless... Flawlessly doing this guy. Because, you know, that's... Monstrously insane to do. So, even though I know of a cheese... If this cheese doesn't work, then I'm far past fucked and this video's over. And I've wasted like half an hour of your time. Because, 
you know, the Bungie were a bunch of assholes that want, did not want you to do the Nightfall solo, even though they were. But then, I, I, even then, I like died, didn't I? So it's not like I've uh, actually flawlessly done this uh, Nightfall. So if that's what you need to do to get an exotic, then there's no chance in hell that I'm going to be able to do that. Spruce, why you past the enemies? Wait for your shit to recharge and then just go white on it to Valis's, uh arena, shall we say. So I don't know if, um, you know, the, uh, whatever the hell it is. I don't know if um, what I've got is actually going to be any good against it. Just go white on in. There's going to be enemies here. I think we need to kill the enemies in here before, uh, good old Valus decides to uh, spawn in. And the good news now is there's only Cabal, so you're not going to have to worry about the, uh, Scions like splitting into two. The only thing you have to worry about is the uh, Scions getting like white up in your grill And then doing uh, shit like that basically trying to kill you But if this cheese has not been a uh, Patched then I should be able to do this guy and I'll show you what kind of rubbish re you re you know rubbish rewards you get For doing the nightfall. There he is look over there. Look right. I've got to set my plan into motion like right now Oh crap, he's like right there. I'm so dead. Oh, no, you bastard. You made it and you fucking blew it. Die, please. You deserve to die because you fucked up. That was his fault, not mine. You saw that. I did the correct input and he just like flopped it. So that was his fault. So now we have to keep going forward. And try that again. And hopefully this other fucker does it. Because he obviously had the uh, capability just then. And he, he was the one that messed it up, not me. And I'm surprised at how much damage the enemies actually like, do against you. You know, like you know, they're not supposed to be doing that much damage. Take it from me. I'm like I'm not the experienced Destiny player here, right? They're not supposed to be doing shit like that. But the game somehow tolerates their nonsense. And how, how, how some reason here, they, they win against you. So I don't exactly know how... You know, Valus spawns, but either way, what I did there was you jump into like the ceiling light, and you're supposed to jump into the ceiling light before he actually like sort of uh, starts attacking you. Because if he starts attacking you, it's all over. You know, there's no chance of you getting back in there. So like, I can't even see where these enemies are, and they're like really screwing me over. See, look at that man. Nope, I did the jump then. The game said I never did. Get up in the light, you piece of shit. What the fuck was that? Ah, oh, man. Well, I'm, I can just, like, wait up here. Wait for my shit to recharge. As I said, this is just, like, one big waiting game. And if you, like, fuck up your grenade like that... That's not fucking up like it, you know. So as far as I'm concerned, as so long as you're up in this ceiling light, then Mr. Tawuk down there can't really hurt you. But of course, if you are like this, what I'm doing right now, and you're not careful, then they, you can get fucked up. So, you know, be careful. Don't use your rocket launcher as well, because that can, like, you know, detonate on the rim and, like, really mess you up. So... I think what I'm going to do is I'll take the opportunity right now to switch out my uh, exotic to something more sleeper simulant ish since I'm not going to be like swording anyone up or risking a machine gun or whatnot. So, you know, you can just like chill up here and he won't ever get to you unless you deliberately, like, deliberately fuck up. Like this, for instance, where I'm not getting hit whatsoever by anything. And then it's like, oh no, Zoe, you're getting hit. This game does. Now he's over there, look. See? So this is... When he's over there... I pointed at my TV screen. You can't see him. But like when he's in that position over there, that's when he can like really fuck you up. So you have to just be very careful. Not allow the... Um, not allow these shots to get near you. It's, I'm surprised to see Sleeper Simulant doesn't do that much damage, to be honest. 
compared but that's because modifiers are on and all that good stuff so um obviously you can't be in the menus for too long otherwise you get hurt by something that somehow hits you and of course what i could do as well just to be really cheap is actually use something like the um the dome ability I don't even know where the guy is. Oh, he's back here, look. He can still mess you up. All the enemies can still mess you up, so you, that's what you need to be careful of. You not only have to be careful of uh, Mr. Valus, you have to be careful of every other enemy in the arena. You know, when I did, when I was uh, looking at a video seeing how you can do this, I was told that being up here, you're like completely like invincible, but you're not. You can actually get hurt. So you just have to be exceptionally careful with what you do. And especially when he does bullcrap tactics like that. That was a headshot. Don't care what the game says. Now I need to know where all these enemies are coming from. Just so I can like eliminate them one by one. So I don't get too overwhelmed. Again, getting hit by enemies that are left, right and centre with me. Come on, I'm trying to get this guy here. Wait, have I got like, to try... Uh, hold on, if I have to try like Garrison on, I really don't need that right now because I'm not going to be jumping around, so... Uh, got hit by nothing, got hit by nothing again. I should just put like the... No, not that. That, that's what I should put on. You know, make myself purposely crap. Like, can't even see where these enemies are coming from. These, this hit, like hit markers, really are not uh, very helpful in my current situation. Actually, no, that's what I should do. I should be using this. Then run out of ammo and hope the game gives me some ammo, because that's what can happen. Sorry if I'm giving like bland, boring commentary, but as I said, once you're up in this position, you don't want to like, you know, mess it up basically. So, you know, you want to be taking your time, and that's why I'm taking care of these enemies. I'm trying to save my sniper ammo for Mr. Valus before he like really just does pwn my ass up. So, of course, when you have a million things trying to shoot at you, when your guns do no damage, it's very difficult to try and kill the enemies. Believe it or not. Piece of crap. Well, there you go. I've uh, kind of messed this up, and now I'm going to have to wait on the mercy of the game for something that could rarely happen in this, in the situation, or in the event, rather, that you are completely and utterly run out of ammo. So in case you run out of ammo, if something happens, and the game kind of feels sorry for you, I guess. Now, I think I have... Do I have, like, weapons alight or armor alight? I don't know. Or blessing alight, whatever the hell it's called. I don't, I don't, we'll soon, we'll soon see. Oh, and of course, my uh, grenade, my grenade got stuck in there. So if I do this... I have weapons of light. And now I'm protected in here. If he keeps, like, shooting at me... I get three orbs of light generated. So I really should not have weapons of light because that's you know, soon gonna like one out. At least this is good protection in case you need it. But it's coming up to nearly 40 minutes and I'm not in a good position to say I've done the boss yet. Plus I'm at the mercy of the game for what rarely happens in this, which is uh Oh god, I'm getting hit by nothing. Well, game, are you going to do it or not? Come on, there's enemies like everywhere. Do I really have to use like a telemetry? I have no scout rifle ammo whatsoever, so I'm really like screwed up here. 
But yeah, basically what can happen is if you're really like, you know, running out of ammo and you have nothing like what I've got right now, then very rarely will the game actually like give you some ammo back basically. Like literally just spawned you some ammo. So hopefully that's the case. Otherwise I'm literally, oh wait, no, because you don't get ammo drops for your equipped weapon, do you? Shit, I forgot about that. Well, I might as well try and finish this off then. I'm just going to have to wait and use telemetries. I only just realised that. Because I think last time I tried to do this, that just juggler modifier wasn't on. Meaning that um, you do get ammo drops for your equipped weapon. You see, every shot to the head against this guy is doing that much damage. And now he's at the point where he's actually like, moving around. So, I guess once you get him to where you want him, it does remain rather stationary, I guess. He usually like runs up to around up here, look, where I am right now. See, he's like, is that him right there? I have no idea where he is. There he is, look. See, he starts moving around and then he usually like uh, camps around over this side. You can just about hit him in the head. Stop reloading, you piece of shit. God almighty, this guy is going to get killed if he's not careful. Don't even know what that was, to be honest. Uh, now I have no idea where he's gone. That's the thing. If you take your eyes off of him for one second, he's like gone. And you've lost him. And you're probably never going to see him again. Oh, wait. No, he's still camping down here. Look. Got his ass. You can't kill me. I won. Piece of crap game. We did it. We beat the Nightfall solo. I got the Freds upon stars. A legendary scout rifle by the looks of things. More greens and useless stuff I'm never going to get. Or never going to have use for. See, look at this. We beat the Nightfall solo, guys. It took 40 minutes to do. But, you know, it doesn't deplete from the fact that we've done it. So... Hopefully you guys found this somewhat entertaining, somewhat helpful, somewhat enjoyable, whatever string of words you want to use. Most like the most likely thing that's going to happen is this video is going to be uploaded after this nightfall's expired. So if that's the case, I am really sorry. I don't want to have that happen, but that happens sometimes. And I got an exotic helmet which is one I already have. So when people say you get exotics, it's like one in 5 basically from what i can gather that you get one and even then that's an exotic i don't need so what use is that seriously you know that's like useless to me and as you can see here literally i already have it but that's like a better version of it so i could just dismantle that one or infuse it but then again i've got good helmets like this one here so i could like fully upgrade that dismantle it and then use that for instance as a 328 slightly just slightly better than what i have and a 328 scout rifle as well and that kind of is like this one to be honest you know precision tire well I, i'll test this gun out and i'll let you know at a later date whether or not this is good but um yeah that's been the nightfall solo that's a kind of estimate I can give to how difficult, how challenging, how bullshit this can be at times. So if you found this entertaining, then why not leave a like and what not, as every YouTuber says. And I think I'm done here. I really do think I'm done here. I would have nothing left to say or do relating to this game. I forgot to put my new scout rifle on, so... There you go. And I think that's going to be where I end it. As you see now, the Nightfall is done. And I still cannot purchase Wise of Iron, which sucks. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm going to end it. I've wasted 45 minutes of your time, so I'm very sorry for that. And I'll be back probably with Challenge of the Elders with this week's rotation, which happens to be, like, right here, as you can see. 
thanks for watching everyone thanks sorry for wasting your time you have better things to do i'm sure and it, this took a surprisingly short amount of time for me i was expecting an hour and i've done it in 15 minutes less less than an hour sorry but anyway i better shut up before i kill you with boredom so thanks for watching see you next time